Hi, I'm Ryan Chin with Alight Analytics, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Alight's Web Analytics dashboard to optimize traffic, page performance, conversions, and engagement for your website. With this dashboard, you can understand which sources are driving the most traffic and conversions on your website, find out which pages are performing best by volume, time on page, and bounce rates, understand which traffic sources are leading to conversions and what those conversions are, and use event categories, actions, and labels to understand how users are interacting with your website. This dashboard is powered by data from Google Analytics. Channel Mix automatically ingests raw, unsampled Google Analytics data and pipes it into this dashboard for analysis. Tracking support is also available for assistance with setting up goals and event tagging to ensure that the data is collected and accurate and aligns to your website's objective. When you first open the Web Analytics dashboard, you'll see your dashboard filters across the top as well options to select your date range. Just underneath that section, you'll see our KPI scorecards. The scorecards will show your site's sessions, pages per session, session duration, bounce rate, goal conversions, and goal conversion rate. In order to compare the performance to the prior date range, you can hover over the scorecard for additional details. Quickly glancing at this section, I can see that my traffic is down compared to the prior period but my users are spending more time on my website and I've been able to accumulate more Google conversions. For our more granular analysis, you have the following options. You can filter by Channel Mix Profile, which is really useful if you manage multiple web properties or web properties for multiple clients. Channel to see performance by individual channels as classified by Channel Mix. Or source medium campaign and device type, which are pulled directly from Google Analytics. The middle section is our metric comparison tool where you can select two of your KPIs and plot them on the same trend line against each other. For a more granular analysis, you can move down to the bottom of the dashboard where you can drill into website performance metrics. Let's say I want to see which of my marketing channels is converting at the highest rate. In the performance metrics table, I'm gonna select channel as my dimension and then choose goal conversion rate from the sort by dropdown menu. Really quickly, I was able to identify that, the, that direct had the highest goal conversion rate and that my channels of display, organic social and paid search had a goal conversion rate of zero. Now that I identified that direct is my top performer, let's try to see what's causing all those conversions for direct. Let's go to the top of the dashboard and filter just to my direct channel. Now scrolling back down to the performance metrics table, I'm gonna search for a landing page. And then I'm gonna sort by goal conversions. Now we have an idea of what pages are more likely to end in a conversion and can make optimizations to lower performing pages accordingly. Now, let's look at what exactly it is that's causing those conversions. In order to do this, we'll navigate to the Goal Conversion Summary tab. Now, if I scroll down to the Conversion Breakdown section, I can see that out of the 65 total conversions, Goal 7, which has 57 conversions, accounts for the majority of my total conversions. This could tell us that direct channel audiences is very motivated and that goal seven is a good call to action. Now let's look at the inverse. From our initial analysis, we know that organic social did not convert once. So I'm gonna navigate back to the acquisition summary and filter to show metrics for just organic social. Scrolling back down to the performance metrics table, I'm gonna sort by sessions and I can identify the pages or landing pages on my site that receive the most traffic for organic social. This perhaps might be enough information for my analysis. I can take this list of pages and see if there's any clear call to action on those pages. Or if I want to dig a little deeper, I can look into what happens once a user is on that page. To do this, I'll go to the engagement summary tab. In this tab, you'll be able to see the top event categories, actions, and labels that happen during an organic social session. With proper tagging, 
This could show you how far users are scrolling on the page. If they're engaging with any of the content on the page, like videos and internal links, or any action you would want to track. Maybe your form is all the way on the bottom of the page, and you find that these users are only scrolling halfway. With this knowledge, now you know to put a form or some other call to action in the first 50% of that page. That was a brief overview of how you can use Channel Mix and the Web Analytics dashboard to understand and optimize traffic for your website.